uh, hi everyone and welcome back so this is the last set of 10 videos and what i will do is i will share this link in the youtube description so you can also go through these uh, medium blogs so uh, these are the in the fifth set i have already provided the link for 01020304 so you, uh, it is from this place you can get all the the links of the blogs another important question is how we can prevent unhandled exception when i say unhandled exception means uh, there is some promise rejection and somehow you missed to handle that right so there is always a graceful shutdown you can do uh, is like process dot on whenever uncaught exception occurred in your node.js process at least you will be able to log that and you can just check why your node.js process is breaking right it is bad but still it is used to find out the root cause why your node.js process breaks at that particular point right so you need to always handle all these events unhandled rejection and caught exception or uh, the control c event which is siz int uh, all these events you need to handle how to convert a callback based library to promise based another important question so uh, either you can use a bluebird dot promiseify all so like bluebird library i'm using uh, to convert this email so right now what i'm doing this is the callback based uh, method db dot notification dot email and i'm doing a find method which is a callback based so it is using bluebird's promiseify all method to promiseify what is conventionally callback based so i, I did it for like redis redis is a callback based library so i promiseify that with the help of uh, bluebirds dot promiseify all method similarly you can do with the mongoose similarly there are many libraries which are still callback based you can do the promiseify all of them okay like redis redis bluebird dot promiseify all redis now all the methods on to the redis client will be sorry promise based okay what is a global object in node.js and how to add object in the global variable and how it's different from this so you can put uh, so global object is like same as a window object in the in the weird runtime browser so it is a global to the node.js process and <coughs> you can put some global thing like mysql connection you, you need to manage only single connection throughout the application so you can put that in the global dot my con global dot connection so global dot connection i can capture anywhere right so global dot logger configuration global dot uh, the event emitter configuration these things you can put in the global object that will be available throughout the application okay what is circular dependency another important uh, thing like sometimes when we import a into the b and uh, accidentally we also import a in the b a in the b and b in the a so it is a circular dependency and node just process will break it will not break but at runtime in the b you will not get a a will be there as undefined okay so it's like a circular dependency and uh, there will be no any issue at the compile time but runtime you will see uh, abnormal behavior you will not be able to understand what is happening so for circular uh, dependency uh, you need to use some libraries like this is the libraries which you can use to identify or to resolve the circular dependency match i use this method to identify the circular inputs in the application what is the node just required cache so whenever we are requiring any module so that is being added in the required cache of node just because you require it once and you requ you require it in a another five files it is not getting required from the the node modules it will be uh, captured from the node just cache okay so like you are requiring expressing the three files it's not like it is getting copied three times it will be getting copied from the cache after you require once okay you can invalidate cache there is a method to invalidate the cache so delete require cache module name is the method name what is the best way to add the security i wrote uh, multiple blogs on adding security to the node.js and it is extension it is a large topic right it cannot be explained in the single with this api security there is the the route security how you can uh, secure the apis how you can secure the attacks happening how you can limit the transaction uh, of the open api so a lot of other things like how you can prevent the sql injection attack api should be running on https you can use a helmet module or csruf module all these modules will or uh, you can secure your cookies 
uh, or you can sign and secure your cookies you can use this helmet module to add the extra headers in your request I suppose secure the express GS sessions with the help of cookies and sign your cookies right all these methods so you can understand all these you just need to add a helmet you disable the X powered by uh, header and use this uh, you disable all these things X frame option header uh, all these things so what it will do it will not allow your applications to be open in the iframe uh, so these are the helmet, helmet options so so we, nobody will be able to sniff the the request type like mime type mime type sniffing is there you can disable it like this and uh, put your ssid by default uh, express is adding sid so from that attacker is coming to know that you are using express so change the name of express session keys and make that uh, cookies secured and all how we do the error handling i mean this we do in every node.js routes uh, as a global so we write a middleware uh -huh. so how we can do that so we can write a error handler and we can handle the internal server error okay so whenever there is a error being thrown from the route this will be the this will be dealt here we will be getting the message and we will be printing the error stack if it is a dev environment okay how to create a basic middleware we already know we just uh, need to write this my logger and I have to use logger so it is a function which is taking three argument request response and next so if everything is fine do the next so this is a logger middleware you have added similarly we write uh, these middlewares in the express to get the request body to validate the token to validate the authenticity of user and all you can just check that how I wrote the middlewares in the blog can you explain how logging can be done so there, there, there this is an important question how logging can be done so there are different modules Winston is a module Banyan is a module Morgan is a module Winston is module which is providing the multi transport platform you can uh, log inside a file you can log inside a ELK stack you can log uh, on the console all this platform it is providing so you need to do npm install and create all these transport medium you can put the uh, console logs into the file you can put the console log into the console all these things and last question is how to monitor the node.js process i will suggest go ahead with the pm2 or new relic so uh, first of all how to manage the node.js process that you can do with the pm2 module pm2 start uh, or your file name it will create the instance you can create a multiple instance about it or you can monitor the node.js processes using either new relic or either using pm2.io or app dynamics is a platform other than that okay that's it uh, i will share the uh, link of this blog and you can take a look thanks everybody that's all about these 50 questions